Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And today we're going to be talking about the rumours of Johan Ackerman back to South Africa and potentially to the Stormers. Uh, amidst a bit of a crisis happening down at the Cape side, who currently sit with just 10 points after five games. Two wins to their name and three losses going down once again this weekend. And pressure continues to go on John Dobson as the Stormers side, for about the last sort of 12 months really, I looked a bit of a shadow of the former side that went back to back, uh, you know, URC finals, as well as the one team that won this 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 tournament. And to be fair, I think it actually goes a lot further back than just the Stormers. You know, had a really bad Curry Cup campaign as as the Western Province, and now the Stormers themselves really struggling. And as a result, there's a story that came out yesterday that's also been refuted. So we can talk a little about the merits of it. Um, so yesterday we saw a story come out from a rugby pass which said that Stormers are considering making an emergency save our season call, there was not mine, to Johan Ackerman um, to help out with uh, what's going on at the Stormers. So the Stormers over the weekend are going down to the Glasgow Warriors, 28 points to 17, meaning they currently sit 13th on the log. Uh, you consider, for example, the Sharks, who also had another best start, but they're currently sitting now 9th with 15 points. The Lions, having lost their first game of the season, sit 18 points. Bulls 19 points, which means the Stormers are at five points behind the next best South African side and currently sit already six points away from that top eight. Uh, and I think the main thing is, you know, 10 points of possible 25 is really not good enough at all. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's a big uh, problem that the Stormers need to try and address because this is a side that we kind of expect with all the talent they've got, some of the Springboks, for example. They're a side that should be competing for the URC and they're going to be in the Champions Cup this season. Uh, well, they are in the Champions Cup this season and they expect to you know, be a side that, you know, is potentially challenge and go, and go far in that competition. So it's, it's, it is a, it, an interesting article because Johan Ackerman has previously been linked with the return back to South Africa. Now, Lions can always, always sort of the leading candidate sort of side because obviously he's been to the Lions before, he's had success. Lions were the team ranked, uh, you know, um, not necessarily uh, the second, second lowest last season, did make Champions uh, Cup, whereas Sharks did on the technicality and won the Challenge Cup. So it kind of looked like Lions were the one that made the most sense. And yet you look at the Lions at the moment and Ivan van Rooyen would, would consider it really hard done by were he to be a new form of position, given how good the Lions have been. Five, uh, four wins out of possible five so far. Picking up two bonus points. Their points difference currently sitting 34, pretty solid as well. And there's a reasonable effort against Leinster. A penalty try right towards the end probably makes the scoreline look a little bit, um, a little bit uh, more substantial of a win than it really was. Now, this has now apparently been refuted. So, according to SA Rugby Mag, who didn't name any sources, it said that a source in the Stormers said that uh, there's no consideration about uh, potentially bringing in Johan Ackerman, for example, and uh, he is more, uh, he's been backed uh, for, from a Stormers at leadership point of view. Now, it's an interesting one because John Dobson's been promoted recently. He's actually been appointed director of rugby. So he's doing more than just coaching the Stormers. He's kind of like responsible for the entire sort of overall direction and setups of the Stormers. And which initially, you know, was quite a good thing. I think he is very good at that. And I think the oversight, and he's got a good direction. I think he's a very positive person. I think he can see the bigger picture. The problem is, it all sounds really great when the results are going your way and when you're competing. At the moment, the Stormers are not competing and their results aren't going their way, which certainly means he's under uh, a lot of pressure. What would be interesting is what they envision Johan Ackerman doing. Do they envision him coming back, replacing John Dobson, and John Dobson, for example, being removed completely? Or does he come on and a little bit like John Plumtree, who is sort of basically the head coach of the Sharks, at West, and Neil Powell still assists as sort of director of rugby, Will they potentially look at that kind of scenario where Johan Ackerman maybe comes in, takes charge of the Storms, the main Stormers thing, but kind of works alongside John Dobson to to try and uh, and fix things? So I think it would actually be a really good sort of uh, middle ground. I do think John Dobson's got a lot to give the union. He understands the union. He's a very good player manager. Uh, he can really get the players and, and the team in um, you know behind him. But at the moment, the results aren't there. And if you've got the opportunity to bring somebody of Johan Ackerman's experience back, I think you got to go for it. The problem as well is what is Johan Ackerman's expectations? Will he be willing to come back and work in that kind of scenario? Or is he sitting there thinking he needs to come back in a head coach only role where there's nobody really above him? He needs to have sort of calm blanche and be able to work about what is going on with exactly his team and be able to fall with shots. You know, lots of people look at Johan Ackerman as a potential future Bach coach. So 
if in order to do that, I do think he kind of needs to get back to South Africa, kind of get back into the setup. But the question is, where could he potentially fit in? So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think he fits in as as somebody alongside John Dobson? Does he completely replace John Dobson? Should other teams be looking at him? Should any teams be looking at him? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.